good looking, welcome. You are going to love today's workout. Today we are going to build muscle and bone density. I know, not sexy at all, is it? Building bone density, uh -uh, not as cool as toning the abs, you know, tightening the tush, working the arms, but it is needed more than any of those. You see, after the age of 40, we start to lose bone density. We've got to get our bones strong. So I've designed a workout specific for that, but we also will get toned arms, tighter tush, and toned abs too. So I want you to grab a pair of light dumbbells and moderate dumbbells, and let's go get warmed up. Hello there. Hey, welcome to my workout. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and before we go any further, have you subscribed to the channel? Come on. It'll get you fitter, healthier, help you stay above ground longer. Huh? <laughs> All right. Click that red button. Click that notification bell. Now let's get warmed up. All right. Feet apart for me. Abs braced. Big me big arm circles. Oh. So, like I said in the intro, we're going to build muscle, yes, but the whole focus is bone density. So we've got two moves that we're going to alternate between for three rounds and then eight moves in total. The first move will be more of a strength based and the second move will be more of an impact based, so like a jumping movement. Now I get that some people don't like jumping, so I'm also going to show low impact, so you can choose either move. With the strength training moves though, I encourage you to make sure you're finding a weight that is fatiguing for you near the 30 second mark. So we're going to probably go about 12, 15 reps. Open and close the arms now. So we want to make sure that you are being challenged. If you're using the same dumbbells that perhaps you were using two years ago, I want you to try the next pair up, okay? It's super important that we keep building and you know my general rule of thumb is every couple of weeks see if you can go up one set of dumbbells. It may not work for all muscle groups and all exercises but it's kind of a good general rule of thumb. All right, now feet shoulder width apart. Give me a squat, knees tracking with the toes. Come up, squeeze the tush. Do it again. Chest up, head up. Now with building bone as well, wherever we're applying the force for the exercise is where we will build the bone density. So for example, if we were doing this move holding onto dumbbells, we would be building that bone density into the hip. That's the main load and the knee. If we were to add a pressing motion, we would also be adding the shoulders. So lucky us, we got that move coming up. <laughs> The jumping pattern, that again, like jumping, running, helps, and hopping, helps to build the bone densities. But like I said, it doesn't work for everybody, so I will show two different options for you. Last four, three, two, one more, one. Beautiful, alternating lunge back for me, back knee, sorry, back knee and shoulder in line, front knee and ankle in line. So it's a good stride behind while you keep the upper body fairly upright. So one common thing I see with people is they drop and dip that chest towards their thigh. So I want you to avoid that. Think back, shoulder and hip aligned. Nice tall posture. We want that spine stacked, those abs braced and engaged. Posture is important. We're gonna set our posture with every move so that we strengthen ourselves in a nice strong posture. Last four. One more. Excellent. Now take the arms out to the side. Give me some tight circles. Okay. Palms are pressing away from you. Excellent. Going to get those shoulders warmed up, pecs warmed up further. You'll feel this in the arms perhaps as well. Last 10 seconds and then we'll go the other direction. Abs engaged. Good, good, good. All that good stuff. Don't lose it. Let's go the other way now. Good. So the arms should start getting a little warm now. Shoulders getting a little warm. I'm excited for this workout. I am. I really am. I think you're going to love it. Make sure you leave a comment when you're done down below. 10 more seconds. Oh, yeah. And shake it out. Excellent. All right. So I want your dumbbells close by. Maybe grab a sip of water now because we are going to get busy. 
grab your moderate dumbbells. We're combining a lunge pattern with a bicep curl. So I'll show you what it looks like. I like to lunge back or reverse lunge. I find it easier on my knees. If you like to step forward, you can by all means. But we are alternating the lunge while we keep the elbows lined up with the shoulders and doing a bicep curl. Nice, slow, and controlled. Okay, so I don't want a high rep count on this. So this is why I want heavier weights so that we really do increase that bone density and muscle tissue. Okay, feet hip width apart. Second move, I'll show you when we get there. <laughs> okay, here we go, 30 seconds. Let's step back for the lunge or forward, like I said, whatever feels right for you. Keep yourself upright. Remember that warm up? I was talking about how people dip their chest forward and then don't swing the arms. That's going to be harder to do than anything because it kind of feels like we should be swinging, but I don't want you to. I don't want momentum. I want the bicep taking all the load. Shoulders are helping us as well because they're setting our posture. Good, good, good. Time. All right, one dumbbell down. Other one down by the ground. From this position, we are gonna jump over the dumbbell. If you don't like jumping, you can tap, tap, okay? So your choice. Take it wide. Working that lateral hip, working balance. Okay, working into that bone density, knee and hip. And breathe. <laughs> Time. Okay, so back to our lunge pattern, round two. Grab both dumbbells. Okay, get the posture set and then begin. So if you need longer transition time, take it, right? Take a couple extra seconds, as I said, to really set your posture so that you start the lift strong. I've got quick transitions because I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> Stick with me and it'll become second nature for you too. I promise. It's one guarantee I can give you. Time. Okay, so step overs. Now again, you've got that option, right? You can go low impact. Totally up to you. Each is going to get us to where we want to be. Does your nose run when you exercise too? <laughs> I think it's an age thing. Never did when I was younger. <laughs> Time. Okay, one more round of each and then we move on. So set that posture. Abs are braced, lunge and curl. So I said moderate dumbbells because I find people's biceps are pretty strong. How are you doing with it? Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, last hop, and then we move on. Ready, go. See if you can really pick it up this last set. are burning. Time. Whew, just in time. All right, walk it out. Grab a sip of water by all means if you need it. We need our lighter dumbbells for the next move, okay? We're combining that squat press like I was talking about in warm-up so that we get the bone stimulated knee, hip, and shoulder. And then our secondary move will be jumping jacks or your low impact version side to side, okay? Yeah, no problem, we got this. Three rounds, 30 seconds, so grab your lights, 
You can also hold on to one dumbbell too. If you find it's getting too much, you would hold here. Timer starts. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed to me. Now brace those abs. Yeah, beautiful, all right. Hands here, drop the bum, go as low as you feel comfortable. As you come up, you start the press right away. So we wanna use the legs to help get the arms up. So it's just not all shoulders. Lower body is a lot more powerful. Let's use it. This is an all over exercise. Your heart's gonna start pumping too. Whew, this gets everything going. <laughs> Time, great job. All right, jumping jacks. So you choose what level of impact you want and then stay strong with your form for the full 30. Go. Hopefully you went to the bathroom before the workout if you're doing the high impact. <laughs> If you didn't, push pause, <laughs> go now. <laughs> Time, whoo, huh? It's a pretty brutal combo, isn't it? <laughs> no matter what level of impact you picked. All right, feet shoulder width, abs are braced, drop it, press it, good. When we come down, shoulder blades are pinched together, we're not rounding the shoulders. Again, use the legs to get the dumbbells up, excellent. Anytime you need to modify, hold on to that one dumbbell like I showed you at the beginning. All right, jumping jacks. I did my Christmas workout, Christmas Eve workout, and we did joyful jacks. <laughs> Go. <laughs> we did a Christmas themed workout. <laughs> Try to get full range of motion with the arms if you're doing the high impact with me. So that means the hands come right up, right above the head, touch, back down again. See, I told you, this is not your grandmother's osteoporosis program, okay? This is the new 40, 50, and 60 program. All right, last set. Feet shoulder width, drop it, abs engaged, press it with the legs and then the shoulders. Because literally, we are aging younger because we've got so much better information than our parents did. So we're able to take care of ourselves better, feel younger for longer. And exercise is the first step. Time, all right, Whew. jumping jacks. And then diet, stress, and sleep. Big four right there. Feet together, go. Whereas when my mom and dad were around, they never discussed stress, let alone sleep. And diet, oh my goodness, don't even get me going what they used to teach us in the 70s. Low fat. <laughs> oh. ah! Thank goodness we know better now. <sighs> Time. Whew. Great job. Moving on to a new round of moves. We need the lights once again. Now we're gonna kneel on this one because we are forward flexed a little bit and I find that the kneeling helps to support the spine. So with this position, you're gonna forward flex. So lean into that front leg as much as you can. Dumbbells in the hands, hands facing away. So hopefully you can see this. And then straight back with the arms and release. Okay, so we're building into the rear delt, the back of the shoulder, the triceps, the mid back region. When we're done that, dumbbell in hand, jump out, sumo squat, let the dumbbell down, jump out, pick it up with the other hand. 
Now, if you're not interested in the jumping, I got a super, super way you can make this low impact, okay? Feet together, step out to sumo squat, good. You have to keep that center though, and pick up. Okay. All right, and if you're like, PJ, picking up the dumbbell, I can't figure that out. Don't worry about it, don't worry about the dumbbell then. All right, the whole idea though is to keep the legs moving. See, so those are your options. So let's kneel. Lean into that front thigh for me. Palms facing away. Good. Once you've seen me do a couple of reps, I then want you to look straight ahead. So we've got the neck in line with the spine. Now when we press back with straight arms, we don't get a lot of height, okay? And you may even get less if you've got tight shoulders to begin with. So if you want and let go of the dumbbells and just try this against gravity, by all means, give that a go so that we can sort of perfect the form and you get the idea of what we're training and then you can add the load. Time. All right. Whew. So, low impact, side to side, high impact. Start with the dumbbell, chest up, good. Drop low, feet wide. Now we're getting down there by bending the knees, not the back, okay? Whether you're doing the low or the high impact. So very important. There's no rounding in that lower back. Abs are braced. Knees are tracking with the toes. And then you land soft. So when done right, you'll work even harder. Huh? You're welcome. Time. Woo. All right, other side. Or not other side. Other exercise. Woo. Go. I'm delirious. the shoulders are burning for me. How about you? Time. Woo. Those last few got to be hard, okay? If they're not, like I was talking about, we need load that fatigues you. So maybe try the heavier for the last set. Ready? Go. Whoop. <laughs> Almost dropped the dumbbell on my toe. Whoo! This one gets the thighs. Time. Whoo! Just in time too. All right, final set. Here we go. Straight arms. Lean into that front thigh. Look straight ahead and press the arms straight back. Try to really lean forward so we get a bit of gravity line coming on the upper back. Time. All right. I'm just gonna call this new this move a thigh burner. Last thigh burner. Hoo hoo hoo. Feet together. Ready? Smiles on. Go. Smile on, cause it's last set, baby. <laughs> Time. Oh, wow. Good job at home. All right, walk it out a little bit. Okay, now, great news. We're on our last two moves. Yes. We need the lights again. Whew, I'm going to grab a quick sip. Uh, we're gonna continue on with the training with the upper back, okay? I find that's an area that's weak on a lot of us, so I'm hitting it hard with this workout. 
All right, palms are facing you. I'll quickly demo. All right, and then we'll turn the timer on. We pull up, lead with the elbows a bit. Then when we get to almost shoulder height, we flick so the knuckles are pointed away from us. So we're doing what's called external rotation. Then go down. Yeah. All right, it looks innocent, <laughs> but you'll feel it. And then we'll move into a speed skater, which we'll do together, and I'll show a low impact version, super easy to, to, to tone this one down, okay? All right, so brace the abs, so pull that belly button in, brace into the abs, good. Pull up, knuckles behind, and down, great. So this one here is really important. We've got that posture because we're training posture. So we want to make sure we're set so we strengthen in that strong posture position. So chin slightly tucked in, chest lifted, abs engaged. Good. 30 seconds. We got this. Last two moves. Yeah, no problem. Time. All right. Place those off to the side. Now, a speed skater is simply a lateral move side to side with a little toe tap, okay? And then you can add, okay, or not add, you can delete the jump. Here we go. Go. Land soft, absorb the impact with that ankle first, and then up the kinetic chain, okay? Abs engaged, good. Really nice outer hip move here. And booty, oh, you feel that booty? <laughs> Wait till tomorrow. Don't worry, you'll thank me. Dive, yeah, you'll thank me. Here we go, second round, grab those dumbbells. It's a strange relationship, isn't it? with trainers. <laughs> you hate us when you're with us, but you love us when you're not. <laughs> you love the results. <sighs> I just recently hired myself a personal trainer. Yeah, I did. I got tired of 24 years of training myself. I wanted to give somebody else the reins. Yeah, sometimes I really effing hate her <laughs> when I'm with her. <sighs> like a lot. <laughs> Time and skaters. But I love the results. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Speed skater, go. Almost there, almost there. Time, yes. All right, one more round of each, and then we stretch, yes. Here we go. And if you notice, I'm always bending my knees when I get my dumbbells, make sure you're doing that too. I don't know how many people I know that hurt their backs by picking the dumbbells up, okay? So we're all safe and secure, we get ourselves set up for our posture and our technique for the lift. Then we kind of forget when we pick the dumbbells up that we still got to use our legs, engage the core. <sighs> Time. Woo, 30 seconds. I love 30 seconds. <laughs> Christmas Eve workout was one minute in exercise. It was brutal fun. Go. <sighs> Okay, last 30 seconds. Come on, come on, you and me, right now. Feel that? Yeah, it's your heart pumping, right? Muscles working. It's the way we were built. We weren't built to sit, we were built to move. Stick with it, stick with it, come on, come on. Almost there, let's go. Time, woohoo If I could give you a high five. I would, good job. All right, walk it out a little bit, let the heart rate come down, grab a sip of water, and then we're gonna do some stretches so you can continue on with your day. All right, great job. So let's do some stretches for the hips and the glutes because they worked really hard this workout. 
Knee on the ground, and then your front leg, you want the ankle ahead of the knee as you're set up. I'm gonna go back a bit to make sure I'm in frame. Lunge forward, tighten that back tush, and that's gonna help release the front of the hip. Inhale the arms straight up, exhale, lean away. Excellent. Just hold this stretch for a few breaths. So if you're watching this workout in real time, all right, so it's near the end of, or it is the end of December, next week on New Year's Eve, I'm going to host a YouTube live workout. It's going to be awesome. So how do you join? Well, if you want to get on my email list, that's the best way so I can send you reminders. And I'll put a link down below on how to get on the list. But really, you just log on to YouTube just before one. And if you're following me, if you're subscribed to my channel, YouTube will let you know in the right corner, I believe. Fitness with PJ is now live. And then you click on there and you'll be taken to the workout. Now straighten this front leg. So at the beginning of the workout, you definitely don't want to miss the beginning because I'm going to be doing some giveaways. And I'm also going to be giving out a discount code, okay, to save yourself fair amount of money on my 12-week transformation program. So that program launch launches January 13th and it is the lifestyle and weight loss program. I have helped hundreds of women with this program and it can help you if you are finally done with the fads and with trying and if you want something that will fit into your life so you can finally do it. So I'll be giving discount codes for that, doing a little chat, a little Q&A and then we will lead into a body weight low impact workout. Release, other side. Here we go. All right, lunge into it. Back arm straight up. Lean away from that back hip and then tighten that back glute. I'm excited. So we're going to finish the year like amazing, strong, right? And start the year strong. So this is so cool. Straighten that front leg. So I hope you can make it. Um, it's 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time I'll be running it at. Come into a standing position. Let's get the upper back. It worked hard. Arm across, thumb up, press in. Feel that shoulder blade really open up. Now take the hand behind the head and let's lean away so we get into the lat as well as into your tricep. So a few things you gotta do after you've done this, okay? After you've finished the workout here. I want you to leave a comment. I'd love to know what you thought of the workout, where you're working out from. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and then read in the description down below so that you can get on the list. So I'll put a real quick link for you just to write your name and your email and then we can send you reminders and then um, also a playback link too if you miss it. If you wanted to come but you just couldn't make it. Release, other side. And then arm behind, lean away. And there you go, you did it. So you've got your job, subscribe, notification bell, drop a comment, get on the list, and then we will see you next week for the live workout. Woo! Thank you for joining me. Mwah. All right, good job, woo, high five.